Shelly Goldberg now. Floor X, 9775 the score for Caroline Floor a moment ago for Stanford. Here's one springy gymnast. <laughs> Go try that, Barry. No. No, thank you. Not even into water? It hurts me even to watch it. either you always talk about sometimes you get tired and this is the best part you can't see the interaction but in the routine she actually sometimes looks over at her teammates and they're just all smiles watch this unbelievable height right there look at that i mean that is well done technically and just way up there so now Alyssa beckerman the score, incidentally, for Yvonne Tusek a moment ago, 9-8-5. Same score as Ani Wills. Willis put up. So UCLA hanging in there despite the 9-2-5 of Malia Jones. Need another good performance here from Melissa Beckerman. This is a beautiful beam worker when she's on. Very, very elegant. She was an alternate for the 2000 Olympic team in Sydney. The way they selected the Olympic team last year, they actually could have selected the final two spots. And I actually almost lean towards selecting Alyssa for this event because she's so, so gorgeous when, when she's on. Very elegant, very flexible. I mean, all the things that look pretty on beam, she does go up. Just now finding her stride in collegiate gymnastics. It's a freshman. She's getting over injuries and just trying to get used to college and find out what's expected of her and figuring out how to train, but not quite as intensely, but still, it, it's, it's, it's still significant training in college that you have to do it to be accountable to your team and to fulfill your talent. So she's getting there. And we'll see what the judges think. Here's another look at the dismount. Everything is just very pretty. Even if it's not the most difficult, it's very pretty. Lise LeVay now of British Columbia, Canada. This is somebody who knows how to perform, interact with the audience. Incidentally, 9875 for Shelley Goldberg for Stanford, preceding LeVay.
kept it in bounds. <laughs> Just barely. Yeah, you're right. And, and I stress there's no deduction for everybody's routine looking the same or sounding the same. It's just, I think, nice for an audience and nice for people who really enjoy gymnastics. I agree. It gives the judges a different look, too. Watch this last pass came very close yeah. to the line. This is when uh, you think their heels and toes have eyes. <laughs> they know right where that line is. And they just, you can touch it. You just can't go over it. And then, of course, the congratulations of her teammates. And we await the score for Lise LeVay. And uh, we'll give it to you on the other side of this. Lise LeVay of Stanford, as Stanford has now completed its floor exercise. So, too, as UCLA completed the beam, the flip-flop now. Stanford will be on the beam. UCLA on floor X when we come back. Welcome back. Three rotations in the book now, and you can see UCLA with what would be considered, I would say, a rather commanding lead over Stanford now, with only one rotation remaining. A reminder, looking for the perfect way to spend your evenings? Well, introducing the Best Damn Sports Show, period, with host Chris Rose, Tom Arnold, and a bunch of ex-jocks. It's the only show that gives you sports, comedy, commentary, scores, and highlights. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the Best Damn Sports Show, period. Now available weeknights at 11 p.m. only on Fox Sports Nets. Fourth and final rotation upcoming now as we take a look at the results of the third rotation. And again, UCLA excellent on beam. Yes, they definitely did the job they needed to do on bounce beam. And an uncharacteristic fall from Malia Jones. Normally very solid on that event. Picked her up, though. Because remember, they dropped that score off and uh, totaled the other five. And the other five were just fine. Thank you very much. So the final rotation finds UCLA now on floor exercise and Stanford on the balance beam and we are set to begin the competition here now, with Stanford on the beam and UCLA on floor X this is Malia Jones for UCLA and floor exercise I'm sure she's feeling a little bit of nerves this is the first time all year she's competing in floor exercise I misspoke earlier she actually the last two weeks did bars and beam and bars beam and vault in one of them had very little experience and first time for this floor exercise. Yeah. It's another the first uh, woman in floor exercise, Jamie Williams, a 9775. That's a pretty good score to start with. It does help to be in front of your home crowd, but this team knows how to perform. And a pretty good crowd here for an afternoon. Beautiful weather outside, and uh, these good folks come here to watch some excellent dual meet gymnastics competition. to the yeah. beat. I love it. I'm trying to think if I were doing the floor exercise, would it slow my heart rate down? You'd like to think. <laughs> Hopefully, oh. so it's not beaten like crazy by the end of the routine. Very nice. So many people don't realize that the floor exercise is a stamina. You have got to work on that that wind so that you feel strong at the end of the routine. Well, you always thought it, over the years, I remember you telling me that that last tumbling run can be very, very tough. Absolutely, depending on what kind of difficulty you're doing at the end. I mean, sometimes your arms feel like they weigh about 300 pounds. Yeah, Valerie Connors liked it a lot. <laughs> 